A moon lander took off from the Florida base early on Thursday. Its mission is to achieve the first U.S. lunar touchdown after almost five decades. Named Odysseus, the NOAC lander lifted off atop a two-stage Falcon 9 rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Now, built by the Houston-based aerospace company Intuitive Machines, the mission is the first by a privately owned spacecraft. And NASA's live feed showed the 25-story rocket roaring off, leaving behind yellowish plume of exhaust within 48 minutes. The six-legged lander was in fact released from Falcon Arts upper stage and then drifted away to the moon. Moments later, the mission operations received its first radio signal as the lander began the automated process of powering its systems. Now, the IM-1 flight is carrying six NASA payloads of instruments to gather data about the lunar environment. The Odysseus will reach its destination on the 22nd of February. The landing is aimed at the crater Malapert at the moon's south pole. If successful, the flight will be the first controlled descent to the moon by a U.S. spacecraft since the final Apollo crewed mission in 1972. Now, Intuitive Machines IM-2 machine is mission is scheduled to land at the lunar south pole in 2024, followed by an IM-3 mission later in the year with several small rovers. A crewed moon mission will follow these missions, and NASA, remember, has delayed its target date for the crewed Artemis moon landing till 2026, while China is aiming for 2030. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.